So ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to bring this next act up. She is the Foxy First Lady of Cabaret. Please forgive me as I mispronounce this name. <laughs> Miss Elisa Von Pes. Introduce yourself to the show. This is the second guy, ladies and gentlemen. He's right to murder. Oh, I'm the blind lady of cover it. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause for Adam, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's all part of the show. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to, um, to do three songs from my. Um, I mean, uh, the next album that's coming out, out in uh, November. And um, this first song is called Where Have All the Good Guys Gone? And I wrote it it's, um, when, um, during a period in my life when I was uh, pretty desperate. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of had a choice. Uh, either I would turn into pretty much Bridget Jones or I would take the piss out of myself. I chose the second. <laughs> so this is what came out of that experiment. <laughs> Where you think it's easy to get laid But after sex with one twenty-year-old Your only satisfaction's in the kitchen bowl Stuff in your face with cake So you revert to gym at work Who flirts with your best friend Come Christmas, he look up with her And that will be its end And then you'll feel emotional And leave the party early Log on to online dating Chat with a thirty-something He's only free one hour a week and he hates having kids, it's tragic And the only other guys that mess that you are really dark or creepy They send you pics of, you know what <laughs> That only make you weepy <laughs> And you think to yourself Where have all the good guys gone? But all you find is that socially awkward day from life and isn't much fun. You ask him out, but he just stands and stares like he's afraid that you'll see he's as pure as the day he was born. He never touched the girl after his mom could be pretended with the porn. Now, summer's here and all the new for couples are about you. Smile, but then say you just cringe and really want to shout. Fuck off, this isn't fair. Screw. Well, fairly long time. <laughs> and then the psycho guy whose wife divorced him last July he thinks he can have you in his easily. He gives you the eye, but you got some dignity. You never stoop so low. You exit stage, salute him. <laughs> With a bow. And you think to yourself, 
of Big Spender, which is that all that is required to pick up a woman is to basically have a lot of money. And when I met this guy, you know, he didn't introduce himself to me like, hey, hi, I'm John, you know, it was more like, hey, hi, I'm John, I've got a car and a house in town. Like, I'm not joking, you know, and this is reality. And I was just like, okay. Um, so he did that with every girl until one was like, oh wow, you know, and that's, <laughs> that's how he picked up girls. Right, okay, so that's how I feel about this guy. <laughs> the minute you walked in the room, I wish that men like you were in extinction. that makes me sexy Can't you see? things that um, it always puzzled me about the Victoria era was like why were they so bloody sexually repressed you know why why were they always wearing black and I mean I know that they were sexually repressed because obviously I mean 
who thinks that the legs of piano are sexy? To the, no, they actually don't ah, because they, they wouldn't have them show. Like, you had to cover the legs of piano. It was indecent. I mean, really? I'm not making it up, right? I mean, it's crazy. So I thought, okay, I, I, have, to, I have to understand this. So I looked into it, and now I know what actually happened. So you may learn something new tonight. That's what I'm saying. songs um, recorded with a band with like wonderful violins and, and uh, wonderful basses and drums and uh, pianos and 
that's it. And, then, <laughs> and, and I actually um, uh, I've got cards over there, and if you if you'd like some free songs, like yeah, free songs, um, there's no catch. Then uh, just um, there at the back, there's like a little wee table. Just grab one, and you will have some nice free songs for you. And I hope you enjoyed tonight, and thank you so much for listening to me, even though I'm all weirded out by... Uh, <laughs> <laughs>